Well, good Wednesday morning to everybody. Beautiful morning. We even had a bit of dew last night, so the temperatures went down. The humidity seems to have cleared off, so it's going to be a, a gorgeous day. Um, we're reading through, oh, this is Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> Wednesday. So prayer meeting tonight. I get to meet with the pastors this morning, so all good. Um, we're reading through Isaiah 59 to 63 today. But we're, really what I want to talk about is, is right in the first chapter. Just two things that really stood out uh, in this chapter, and right from the very beginning. Um, we often hear that, that um, God hides himself from our sin. But uh, Isaiah points out that it's, it's not the fact that God hides from our sin. It's just that our sin uh, hides us, hides God from us. Uh, in, in Isaiah does a really good job poetically of pointing out uh, how um, we grope around in the dark when when we have this unconfessed sin when we have this rebellion that we're not taking care of and, and that doesn't mean that we we do things by I mean we we, we sin by mistake but we're, we're talking about purposeful we just decide that this is what we want to do we don't care what God has to um, you know, has to say about it this is what we want to do and and that's what we do and it leaves us in a in a, in a, a state of blindness because suddenly the, the well not suddenly but gradually the the spiritual realm is, is 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 no longer available to us because of us because it starts fading on us because we're setting different priorities uh, than the spiritual realm where we're we're saying the kingdom values don't have the same values that we want and we start living by a different set of values which means that we are withdrawing away from from the way the kingdom works and we become dull our senses become dull uh, we just become blind um, to what's going on uh, until that that rebellion is taken care of until we we confess those things uh, it, it affects us but there's no way about it it affects us when we when we remain in a state of rebellion um, but he's quick he, he's, he's quick to restore all that to redeem all that uh, that's what we need to keep in mind so sometimes we need if things are going uh, you know a bit dull on us we, we need to check and, and, and see what the reason is for that the the other thing is just a quick thing but it, at the end of the chapter uh, it, des it describes God putting on armor and going to battle for us and um, the armor that's described is, is very similar to the armor that Paul describes that, that we put on. Uh, and here's a little known fact that, that the armor that Paul describes is actually Jesus Christ. We put on Jesus. We're in Jesus Christ. So we, we, we just remind ourselves every day that we have this armor. And, and, and it, it's like putting it on. We're refreshing ourselves. We're reminding ourselves that we have this armor this is how we live this is how we operate according to this to this armor and uh, it's just for me it's amazing to see that that it is god that put on this armor to fight for us and now and now that we have victory because of him uh, we put on this armor as we go to battle for for others and the armor again is is jesus christ i just find that encouraging i, I really find that encouraging so you have a blessed and wonderful day today and I know that the Lord is going to use you. Be engaged. Be engaged with people. Just say hi. See where that goes. And you have a wonderful day in service to the Lord. God bless.